We're now joined by Professor Hartmut Winkler, who is an energy analyst at the physics department at the University of Johannesburg. And he joins us via our video link. Uh, Professor, thank you so much uh, for joining us uh, here on uh, the late edition on SABC News. Perhaps let's start off here. What are your thoughts uh, when it comes to the revelations we've seen uh, today in Parliament uh, and, uh, you know, uh, the actions of the former CEO of ESCOM? Yeah, well, is it really a revelation? I think that was always my understanding that uh, this was done without the uh, knowledge of the ESCOM board. So I, don't, I, I personally don't really think there's anything uh, new about this. The question is, uh, it, was this the right way to go about it? Uh, Dereta will argue that he didn't trust uh, the, the official channels uh, 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 to handle the thing. Um, it, but yeah, that's where, that's where he's at. Okay, he's being accused of maladministration. I'm sure, I'm sure that's not the way you would normally go about things. Uh, was he justified in, in doing yeah. that simply because he didn't believe that there was any alternative to that? I don't, I don't know. Uh, there's also uh, accusations leveled against uh, Business Unity South Africa, but uh, uh, then uh, again, they paid for an investigation. I don't think there's anything illegal about having an investigation as such. Uh, but uh, whether it, it, it's it's uh, the investigation itself uh, can be trusted. A lot of people have, have cast doubts about a, a, a lot of the conclusions that come about it. So did they just simply waste their money or, or did they just uh, do something illegal? I, I'm not, a, a, not in a position to comment on, on yeah. such government issues. But uh, yes, I don't think it's such uh, a dramatic news. Mm. But one would also ask, uh, you know, when you look at, uh, you know, uh, the SIU and, uh, you know, what has transpired there when it comes uh, to the former ESCOM CEO, one would say uh, that, uh, look, this was somebody who was seemingly uh, trying to do a good job and root out uh, the corruption uh, that has led in some sort of way to the problems we face uh, today uh, within ESCOM. And now that person uh, seems uh, to also then be charged or accused of uh, maladministration? Yes, well, to me, the key is finding out uh, whether there w really was sabotage at Eskom. I'm sure there is some degree of sabotage, but whether they were following the right uh, threads in that, whether they were uh, actually, uh, if, if what was reported uh, uh, by this investigation is true or not, that, that we don't know. I think that's what I'd really like to see. Uh, I'm sure there is uh, some malfeasance at, at uh, ESCOM itself, uh, they, uh, and, and uh, uh, there have been a lot of arrests in this regard. Uh, I, uh, I suspect that uh, the Special Investigative Unit is going to pursue a lot of those, and there probably are going to be some more arrests uh, uh, to follow. And I think that's really, uh, to me, the key. How effectively can they pursue their investigation? And to what extent is that going to uh, lead to uh, decreased sabotage and, the, and as a result, less load shedding for the country? Mm. Uh, but what is your take uh, when it comes to, you know, uh, some of the parliamentarians? They're also continuing uh, to, the, to raise the concerns that many of us uh, have been asking when it comes to the so-called politicians, uh, the big fish, uh, who are seemingly at the top of uh, the problems at ESCOM. You know, I saw another MP there uh, trying to ask, uh, we know the names and who they are. They are contained in this report. Why do we still not know who they are? Uh, yes, I think it's a kind of an open secret who, uh, who, um, uh, who's being suspected of, of, of doing what. But uh, yes, is there evidence? I suspect probably at this point, no. Uh, might there be evidence? Might there be something, some arrest in future? In, entirely possible, but I think it depends entirely on what the, what the official investigation uh, comes up with, to what extent they can verify uh, what uh, some people have, uh, have, have pointed out and whether uh, what, uh, what has been brought to the attention so far is credible and, and, uh, and can be used for, for prosecutions. And um, are there politicians being protected? Well, yes, it's, it's, a, it's a key question. I, I think we shouldn't um, the, go too far down the conspiracy theory line, but it, it would be naive to think that there aren't some very important, rather well-resourced people behind a lot of the stuff that's happening at Eskom.
Mm. And Professor, when it comes, uh, you know, to some of the information coming out there and, uh, uh, you know, seemingly uh, where we have uh, private companies uh, investigating uh, ESCOM and ESCOM being a state-owned enterprise, what seems to be the problem there uh, around, you know, the route that was taken uh, to try and get to the bottom of the corruption at ESCOM? Yes, well, so to bring in a private company to do an official investigation, first of all, they probably wouldn't be able to to, to even get uh, uh, get to inspect uh, all the the the. the uh, the things they would need to. They would need to get on, onto the ESCOM property. They would need to, need to be able to look at what's on the, on the laptops uh, of, the, of the various people. They'd need to be able to have access to the power plants and so on. Uh, did Andre de Reta give that to them without uh, uh, informing anyone else? To some degree, that, that probably happened. But I still don't think that, that such a private company uh, would be as effective uh, unless they uh, have full access to all, all the material they need. I don't think this company itself was able to do as much as an S uh, the SIU would be able to do if this is, 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 is uh, uh, pursued to its logical conclusion. Uh, I think one needs to really, uh, uh, you know, try, uh, uh, look at the money trails in that and, uh, and uh, uh, if, if to do that, you need some sort of official authorization. And uh, it's, uh, I th so I think it can be done and I think it should be done. And if nothing comes out, then, well, then we know that nothing came up. But right now, everybody's suspecting uh, all sorts of people. And I think it would be important that, that this uh, investigation gets uh, carried to its logical conclusion. Mm. And when it comes uh, to the former CEO not disclosing this uh, to the ESCOM board, do you think that there was a trust deficit here uh, when he was carrying out, one would say, an important investigation uh, in ESCOM? Uh, yes, well, clearly he didn't trust some uh, some of the people that he should be working with on the board, whether that's justified or not. Uh, I don't know. There, there, there have been people on, on past ESCOM boards who, uh, who were certainly not working in the best interest of the organization. Uh, I haven't uh, had any suspicion, of, uh, similar suspicion about the current board and that. Uh, but uh, for whatever reason, and I personally think he probably should have uh, tried to, to get more people on board yeah. bef bef before he got into this. And uh, he w I think it would also help them. Uh, like it, it's clear that some of the people who were seen to be his allies early on, like uh, Minister Gordon, for example, uh, was also very unhappy with, with what had happened. And I think it would have been a lot easier for him to defend what he'd done if he had uh, it, it trusted a few more people uh, mm. than, he, than he did in the end. Mm. And can we expect, uh, you know, the SIU uh, to use, uh, you know, this report and act on uh, the investigation that was done and, you know, t and try and pursue uh, some of uh, the revelations contained uh, in that report? And we ultimately see uh, more arrests in this regard when it comes to the problems at ESCOM. Yes, well, they'll certainly have to, to, to look at everything that's, that's, uh, that's mentioned in there, um, even if they don't uh, um, believe that uh, reliable information. I think it, it's part of any it, it police investigation or investigation from any official body to, to, to just follow up every lead and, uh, yeah. and in, any allegation. Uh, is, is some sort of a lead, and they might decide after a very short time, no, there's nothing uh, to this. But I think it's it's their job to try and and, and just see uh, to follow up on 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 every lead they have. And uh, I think the SIU has, uh, has has a relatively good record in, in this regard. So at the moment, I'm I'm hopeful that they will uh, fulfil what uh, they effectively are, um, are are telling us they are going to do.